Okay, so here we are with the mods already downloaded from Discord um, per the mod info channel as you can see here. Um, I download to the desktop, uh, whichever way you want to do it, just as long as you can find these files once it's downloaded. If it's not downloaded to the desktop, I suggest pulling the files to the desktop or putting them here just so it's easier you know to keep track of basically so uh, we'll get started um, this is we're just going to go with uh, let's go with art first it starts with A uh, it's the biggest you want to just right click on it um, extract all it's going to ask you if you would like to have it on your desktop basically you hit extract and you'll get this bar that comes up sometimes you'll have a crazy number right here um, I definitely suggest that you do not have life is futile the game running while doing this or any other um, basically heavy usage uh, CPU programs like um, on mine right now I have only thing to really using anything is what's extracting the file. Uh, so, <clears throat> but um, I am running a, a i i five ninety seven hundred. So, okay. Anyhow, um, you want to have everything closed if possible. So, um, this is almost done. Give it a minute here. I could probably close a few things. All right. Um, I suggest if you're going to do this often um, you can go to your steam library and um, go to life is futile game properties local files and browse now this is going to take you right to the game holder uh, maybe yeah the game folder there so if you would like to and, and get to your game folder easier I would suggest to back out one folder right click send to desktop and that will create a shortcut out on your desktop to get to it easy as I have right here but I am um, more into this file than than most so <laughs> that's why I, I have it set like that so this is almost done five seconds okay so that's done so it popped up over here let's put it up there for now and then we'll go to data and do the same thing extract all extract that shouldn't take but a second 25 <clears throat> All right, that's done. Put it over there. Go to scripts next. Extract all. Extract. And that was done. We go to mod. Extract all. Extract. That was done. And then mods. Extract all. Extract. And then that was done. Okay, so we have them all extracted the way it should be. You open your Life is Futile game folder. If you wish, you can take one at a time and drop into the folder. Or 
you can take them all and drop into the folder. Make sure you do not drop anywhere in this area where other folders are. Drop it down here where files are. So you can do that. Just let go of it. Mm, is that going to do anything? Alright, let's try one by one. Then. There we go. So yeah, don't do them all. Do one by one. So this will just basically replace your art folder. And when this is done, we'll continue on to the data folder, the scripts folder, the mod folder, and the mods. If you do not have a mod and mods folder, that's fine. You can drop right in here and it will work as it should. If you do have a mods and mods folder or mod MOD and mods folder, then you can do the same. Drop right in here and it'll just replace what is needed to be in there okay so the art's done we're going to do that next and that one's done we'll go to scripts that one's done immediately looks like yep go to mod and mods you can see because it highlights the ones that it had overwritten the reason mine is not popping up with the ok to overwrite is because these are the files that I've already installed and they're just not really exactly overwriting anything so so there we are that's pretty much it once you've completed that you're done you can start up the game life is futile and you'll know if it worked if you have this screen right here alrighty hope you guys enjoy thank you